So now, if, you know, because in in the United States, a lot of places are still in lockdown. So, what are some of the things that we can do if we are in lockdown with our significant other to help reduce any issues like that? Well, me, I'm one of these that you talk to someone before it becomes physical. Walk away. Um, it is it's a terrible thing um that you you have to be in that frame of mind that you need to hit someone and i'm not just talking about women i'm talking about men have contacted me and actually had abuse from their spouse and um you know they one it's they find it hard to handle um and two it's um they're not they're not used to being in this confined relationship if you like and to be honest it... walk away okay now tell us a little bit about yourself a little bit about your background and about how you got involved with helping people that are um, well, i started out in um, um journalism um 1997 so that's dating myself a little bit but that's how i started um then it um i wanted to um see if i could be a more adventurous writer if you like and um i got into trying to write books i thought i've got to try i've got to try i've got to know if i've got some sort of um creativeness in me and um I started with those and um, it slowly progressed from there. But how I got into this one is uh, I was doing a, a writer's, um, I was invited to do a writer's talk. Um, and um, this lovely, lovely lady um, came up to me and she said, I've got a story for you. Would you be willing to listen? So that's what I did. And um, she says, would you talk to my husband? And what it is, is um, the couple themselves have both got this amazing story of how they met and from two totally different backgrounds that you wouldn't put the two of them together. And they, they come through this horrific journey in two different ways. Um, you've got um, the lady that's um, trying to escape from an abusive 